I'm Sarah K. Brandis, and welcome to Solopreneurship Made Simple. This is episode one of my podcast, and I'm pretty excited because I've been waiting to do this podcast for so long. But being a solopreneur, time is incredibly finite, so I've not really had the time for it in the last year. So one of my news resolutions for 2018 was to finally get on this. So I'm really pleased to be cracking on with it. I've got a lot to share with you guys, but because you're all solopreneurs, entrepreneurs, or people that have side hustles too, most likely if you're my audience, then you are incredibly time poor as well. So I'm gonna keep all of these very short and very to the point, because I respect your time and I don't have a lot of time either. I know exactly where you're at. So um, with that in mind, let's get straight to the key points. Today's message is, it doesn't matter about your past. It's not where you came from exactly. Rather, it's the lessons that you learnt from the experiences that you had and those transferable skills that you bring forward. That's what's important for your success now and in the future in your solopreneurship efforts. So um, I suppose I don't want to start soft. I want to kind of go in hard with the honesty and the openness, um, as scary as this is. So if you follow my blog, then you saw this last week. Um, last week I shared something really very personal from my past um, about my career and where I've come from and it's not all marketing and success and sales and winning it's it's been a lot of slog actually um, I'm coming up to 37 years of age and I'm I feel like I'm almost ready for retirement in some in some ways in others I'm still really enthused and energetic and I have a lot more to share with the world but on a bad day when things aren't going so well I feel like I could retire because I've had um I've been on the career train for so long now it's been it's been quite um quite a long journey so let me tell you a little bit about where I came from so actually my working life began um in 1997 when I graduated from high school I didn't go on to to college or anything I just went straight out into the world of work and that was kind of a necessity thing I liked the idea of further study I quite fancied college but um, I did not have a good supportive family I had quite a difficult childhood so when I was 16 I was plenty ready to get out into the world and start forging my own path um, it was probably ill-advised because I didn't have any sensible adult guidance my parents were not people that I could take advice from so without any adult guidance I just kind of flung myself out there into the big wide world thinking oh this will be great you know the the world out there is full of sensible people and adults and nice people and opportunity and I was expecting so much more than what I actually found when I first got out there into the big wide world I found that it was um disappointingly surprisingly not what I expected it, I was hoping wishing praying for a world full of well-adjusted adults who were all they wanted the best for each other and they were all supportive and what I actually got was the world's full of competition and backstabbing and bitches to be honest I had um plenty of experience with nasty bitchy people who were only out for themselves and at 16 I knew nothing of the world I was very naive and very wide-eyed and um what followed into my 20s and throughout most of my 20s was a lot of lessons learned the hard way about not everybody wants to help you not everybody's an ally and also just um just how tough it can be out there so i know that when we get to the level of solopreneurship when we're ready to start go working for ourselves we're dealing with that times 10 because you haven't got um employment law protecting you you haven't got a union you haven't got many of the things that you get as an employee it's um you're very reliant on those early clients paying your invoices on time because if they don't you're in trouble so um, <laughs> there's a lot there's a lot to contend with and this is why i think that your background and your experience is important in the sense of all those crappy horrible experiences you've had you need to take from those you need to grow and you know add more learning on top of those and and use them you know they they happen to you for a reason and those experiences are valuable um and i don't think there's anything negative that you need to bring forward with you um i've done some terrible jobs and 
Um, some terrible in the sense that they were horribly underpaid and some terrible in the sense that they were just not even things that I would dare put on my CV. Um, the very, the very, not the lowest point because it was a huge learning curve, but the thing that I would never put on my CV but that I shared on my blog last week and was a bit nervous about doing so and oh, I'm going to tell you guys now. Um, in my early 20s, I was a, a tableside dancer at Spearmint Rhino in my youth, uh, my misspent youth. And that's not something that you share on LinkedIn, really, is it? Um, but with that said, I've managed to go on, forge a career for myself. I've been employed before I was self-employed. I am employable. You know, it's it doesn't have to be a horrible blot on the landscape or a horrible blot on your CV. It's about those transferable skills and what you bring forward. So I don't approach, if I'm going for a job interview, I don't approach a new employer being like, hey, I used to work at Spearmint Rhino. I don't put that on my CV. What I put on my CV instead is the other things that I was doing during that time. So the travel, the, the side gigs I had. So I worked in various pubs. So, you know, that's all, that's all stuff that you can share. So these are the things that I talk about. I'm picking out the good detail. Um, but the reason I wanted to share that I used to be a dancer before I got serious about having a career, it's two things really. One, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter what you've done in your past. If it's something you're not proud of, if it's something that maybe you're okay with it, but other people might judge you for it, do you know what, that's good. And in some ways it's kind of a qualifier for the people that you want to work with. Because for example, if if I had a prospective client right now who was thinking about working me, with me and they watched this video or listened to this podcast, learned that I used to be a dancer and was suddenly like, that's disgraceful, I don't want to work with you. Do you know what? I don't want to work with them either because judgmental people are not for me. So in some ways, your past is a qualifier. It's a really good, you know, any bad decision. If a person doesn't accept that you're human and everyone's got a past and we all make questionable judgment calls sometimes or we all do things that maybe we're not so much proud of when we're older, that's, you know, that's really good. At least you've got to know early that that person is not someone you want to work with. And the other reason, um, the second thing, is because I learned a lot about the world doing that job. That was three years of seeing all sorts of things. Um, some things that kind of scared me and put me off um, the opposite gender for a while. Sorry, guys. Um, I'm okay with you now. It's just that I, I um, got to experience uh, some interesting attitudes from men and... I have to report that as much as feminism is on the rise, it's still a man's world. The patriarchy is still a thing. I'm sorry, ladies. Um, but you know what? Rather than being naive and blinkered and not accepting that, I'd rather know so that I'm at least a little bit prepared for that. When I go out into the world, I know that I'm being judged on my gender amongst other things. It's good to know. Um, so that's important. And I think that's really what I wanted to say today. So I'm not going to bang on. I'm going to keep this nice and short and succinct. And all of my podcasts will be short and succinct because I want to make sure that I don't waste your time. You're busy. So I'm sure you've got a lot to do today. I have too. Um, just take this message with you. It doesn't matter where you've come from. Don't focus on the negatives. Just take the learning experiences that you had, the lessons you learned, the strength that you gleaned from that bring that forward with you on your journey. It's not where you've been, it's where you're going. Have a great day. Bye. Hi there, I'm Sarah K. Brandis, and this is Solopreneurship Made Simple. So welcome to episode one. This is the very beginning for me and I'm very excited because I've wanted to do a podcast for ages, but I've been very time poor. <laughs> if you're um watching the video version of this and not just the audio, that's my cat Ivan who's walking across the laptop. You got a very good close up of of him there. <laughs> um so yeah, if if you're a solopreneur too, then you know that time is our most finite resource. I mean, I suppose it's the case for the whole planet, really. Oh, Ivan. This is adorable, but um, this is going to be an outtake. 
Hi, I'm Sarah K. Brandis. This is Solopreneurship Made Simple. And um, apparently my cats are not a fan. Help, send help. Mm -hmm.